as comics, this is what we do. It's our job, it's how we pay the bills, okay? So all we ask is that from now on, I know we tape in the night, but from now on you go to a comedy show, just enjoy. Just enjoy what we've been told we're supposed to do. Make people laugh at life, because y'all are life, and y'all are funny. <laughs> I'm serious, I'm saying, there's so many people, they got their phones and they were, oh. It's like, what are you doing? Like, you came to a comedy show, like, you, you came out to be entertained and you worrying about somebody saying something that offended you and it had nothing to do with you. So, what I can say is this, before we get into the show, um, you know, if, there, if I say anything on this stage, okay, um, that you feel doesn't sit well with you, okay, and you wanna get up, First of all, go that way. Don't come this way. <laughs> That's first. Uh, secondly, um, I can say I hope God blesses you to get through whatever it is that you felt was bothering you that caused you to have to get up and leave, okay? <laughs> I just bless somebody and people are laughing at bless me. <laughs> Y'all a little lit here, bro. <laughs> uh, but I also hope God blesses you uh, with COVID and you die tonight, okay? <laughs> I just want to let you know where I'm coming from. Y'all are killing me with all this sensitivity and we can't even just laugh at our own life. This is what we deal with. Like, you know how difficult it is for comics? Like, you know, like, like I don't even mess with people in the audience, right? Like, I don't mess with, like, I've never been good at cracking jokes back at people, right? Mainly for two reasons while I'm on stage. Number one, I didn't see any security checks. Nobody uh, checked anybody. <laughs> So I know my position, okay? <laughs> That's number one. Uh, two, like, like, come on, man, like, I'm scared. I'll just be completely honest, like, I am scared. I don't know what people are going through. It's hard to know what people are going through and then you take it on yourself. Ooh, I'ma just say something back to these people. You don't know, and people are, people are mentally ill these days, dog. So, <laughs> again, you laughed at that. I thought I was being serious. This is, this is gonna be a roller coaster set here. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying like, when I was in like grade school, right? I knew I was never gonna be good at snapping back at people. Uh, <laughs> like I'd be sitting at the cafeteria table, right? The lunch table, and some kid, this is the el elementary school. Uh, ooh, Quincy, like somebody just wanna be seen by everybody. Ooh, Quincy, your mama's so fat, she can hula hoop with the rings of Saturn. And everybody's like, oh, his mama is fat! She can hula hoop! She is big! And I'm, and I'm like, oh man, and everybody's like, you, you gonna get him, Q? You gonna get him? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. And like I said, I don't know the line. I don't know the line. <laughs> so I come back, I'll be like, well, that's, that's why your mama died of AIDS. And she did. Uh, <laughs> and everybody just like that. Oh, come on, Quincy, you don't. Come on, man, it's a joke, man. You don't have to go there. I'm like, I don't know the line. <laughs> So a lot of times I just stay away from people, man. I don't, mm -mm, I don't try to do, deal with none of that. I, I remember early in my career, I dealt with a heckler, right? So y'all know what a heckler is. At a comedy show, somebody want to be heard over the person who's got the mic, right? I'm doing a show. People are laughing as they should have been, enjoying this show. And over all the laughter, I heard the weirdest attention-grabbing laugh. Somebody wanted to be heard more than everybody else. So I'm saying my jokes, crowd laugh. Over all the laughter, I hear, ah! <laughs> Immediately, it caught my attention. I'm like, who is this? But the lights were too bright. I couldn't see in the crowd, you know, and I get to the next joke, sure enough, over all the crowd laughing, ar, ar. I'm like, all right, who is, <laughs> who is trying to be a part of this show? And so then I kind of pinpoint where, where the I, I is coming from, right? So that's where I focus my next joke, sure enough, right on time, next joke, ar, ar. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, out to you too, all right? Everybody's turning around. All right, all right, you keep that up, I'm gonna see you outside. I didn't want to see him outside, but I thought I could be tough by saying I'm gonna see him outside, right? It got worse. Ar, ar, ar. He falling out the chair, holding on to his chair, holding on to his side of the crowd. They forgot about me on stage. They turn around laughing with him. I'm getting upset. Hey man, security, can somebody do something about that? Ar, ar, ar. He falling and everything. And, and I'm like, you know what? I hope you die on your way home tonight. Head on collision. I hope you die. And everybody, ah! And people are looking at me and I'm looking at them. And that's when we all realize he, he was choking on steak. <laughs> My 
My point is simple, people. I don't know what's going on in your life. <laughs> you don't know what's going on in my life. Just, mm, just let me have fun. Just let me do this thing so I can go back home and just <laughs> safely, safely. <laughs> what, we all don't get it right, because we're human beings, right? You know what I'm saying? That's why I had this message. I wear it on my wristband, I wear it on my shirt, it's I strive to be perfect, but end up being human, right? It's the best message I hear, because people are so quick to judge you, so quick to point fingers and, 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 and you know, hold grudges and, 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 just, and just look at you as, look, like, you're not perfect either, right? We spend so much time doing it, and if we can stop doing this and do more of this and lift people up, I think we could be a much better group of people, right? Because we can help each other, right? Right? Prime example, if you got an opportunity to fix a flaw that you got, fellas, some, next summertime, summertime is over with. Next summertime, use the off season to prepare your feet, bro. <laughs> You didn't know I was going there with it, did you? <laughs> I'm serious, man. Look, I got, I got the problems too, man. I'm missing a toenail on one foot. I got dry feet on the other one. Like, like I'm, I'm very mixed match, okay, on my... <laughs> so I try to take the time to fix it. Like, you know your foot is dry, fellas. If, <laughs> when the back of your heel uh, resembles a Hardy's biscuit. You know how you can just... <laughs> Like you can, we don't see you, we can hear you coming. It's a dry foot. Ladies, can't leave y'all out. Make sure you fix your feet too, okay? Sometimes uh, you need to understand next summer, when the summertime comes again, if all your toes don't fit in the open toe shoe. <laughs> Let that filter through the crowd. The shoe is open and all your toes don't fit. You need to put on Timberland boots with your bikini. Close all that stuff in, I'm serious. Y'all think I'm playing, man. Look, I was, uh, cause I live near the Virginia Beach area, right? So every time at the oceanfront, you know what I'm saying? I wanna make sure I can show this example and y'all can understand what I saw. I saw these two women. Uh, they were walking on the beach, perfect human, just striving to be perfect, end up being human, just, they didn't think nothing about their feet, didn't care. Y'all know the long toe that y'all ladies have, that long toe? That, that toe hung off the front of the sandal, just, it twitched just like this, it moved, as if it was helping her guide herself around the corner. <laughs> just, just right there, just, Right off the front of the sandal, like, as if it was a talent, uh, snatching food for young. Her friend right next to her, she had a pinky toe. I can't make this up. Her pinky toe, people, it hung off the side of the sandal, as if it was the arm out of a car window. It was at a, <laughs> it was at a perfect 45 degree angle right there. Just. If you pushed her this way, she was done. <laughs> you pushed her over here, she'd be like, ah, ah, ah. Kickstand toe, you better leave me alone. <laughs> Strive to be perfect, end up being human, man. We all make mistakes, man. It's all good. It's all good. Look, I can tell you right now a little, a little bit about myself. Uh, you know, I'm a barber. I'm a licensed professional barber, comedian, also actor. And I also have a stutter. I stutter, okay? The reason why I don't do it on stage is because I don't do it in front of people I don't know. <laughs> Y'all are getting a representative. I don't know any of you. Okay, once we become cool, I'll probably mess up two hours of the rest of your night. I'm sorry. <laughs> I never forget, like I ran into a partner of mine, like we haven't seen each other in a long time. He stutters as well, right? I ran into him, and uh, when two people who stutter see each other, no matter how bad our stutter is, we have to talk. <laughs> that was the longest hello that almost never manifested itself. Because <laughs> I saw him, and I'm like, He 
looking at me just. for that transaction. <laughs> 